Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and this video will be the first video in the convex hull series. This will cover all the basic geometry you need in order to understand the convex hull problem as well as its solution. Are you ready to take your programming skills to the next level? Well, you are at the right place. Welcome to our data structures and algorithms live interview training program Interview Dose. Get ready to dive deep into the world of efficient coding and problem solving. In Interview Dose, you will get a solid understanding of key data structures such as array, stack, queue, heap, trees and along with that you will also master powerful algorithms based on maths geometry graph and dynamic programming what sets interview dose apart from other courses is the live interactive format you won't just be watching the pre-recorded sessions but you will join me along with other passionate learners in real time where we will be covering the concepts together imagine having the opportunity to ask questions engage in discussion and collaborate with your fellow learners it's a supportive community where we all grow together but it doesn't stop there we will will dive into hands-on coding exercises solving real-world problems and you will get to work with the interview assignments that will showcase your newfound expertise. Taking interview dose has already been a game changer for a lot of students and working professionals. It didn't just help them to improve their coding skills but also boosted their confidence for tackling complex problems. The live interactive sessions make all the difference. Unlock your coding potential by taking the first step forward. Contact us on WhatsApp for more details. So let us see the basics one by one. The first problem is what is a polygon? Most of you must be knowing this but just for the purpose of definition a plane figure made up of line segments connected to form a closed structure is defined as a polygon. So a triangle is a polygon, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon and you can have many more sides to a polygon. So these are all polygons. Now each of the polygon can be either a regular polygon or an irregular polygon. So a regular polygon is one where you have all the sides of equal length and all the angles are identical for each vertex. An irregular polygon is one where the side lengths may be unequal. So generally a pair will exist which are not equal and the angles will differ from one another. Now if I can uh, give some example, an equilateral triangle is a regular polygon whereas a right angle triangle is an irregular polygon. You can see that the a regular pentagon is drawn on the left side whereas you have an irregular pentagon on the right hand side. So I hope you must have understood about the classification. The next classification is the convex polygon versus concave polygon. So if you have a polygon structure where each angle is less than 180 degrees that is there is no angle which is greater than 180 degrees then that polygon is said to be a convex polygon. But if you have a polygon structure where you have at least one reflex angle, that is you have at least one angle which is greater than 180 degrees, then that polygon will be said to be a concave polygon. So these basics are very important in order to understand the problem. Let's take a scenario. Let's say that you are on an XY plane. So let's say you are on an XY plane. So this is a plane and you have multiple points on this plane as given. You can see that. And now if I ask you to draw line segments, use multiple line segments and connect the points in such a way that all the points must lie on the line or it must be inside the figure. None of the points should be outside of whatever you draw. So it should be like an enclosed structure. So if I can draw that, I can do it in a lot of ways. But one of these ways you can see on the top, it is uh, simply like a star structure. I am taking the same set of points and I am actually connecting by using line segments. So this can be one possible structure and this follows our conditions that either the point is on the line segment or the point lies inside the enclosed structure. So this is true. Now if I look at the second figure then in this case this is also true that uh, we have connected the points in such a way that either the points lie on line or they are inside the enclosed figure but none of the points is outside of the figure right. So these two actually follows our constraint. But by the previous classification of regular and irregular polygon, you must be able to make out that since there is at least one reflex angle, there are more than uh, one reflex angle, right? So since there is at least one reflex angle greater than 180 degrees, so this will be an irregular polygon. And similarly, the second one will also be an irregular polygon, right? Now, what if I give a third constraint that enclose all the points by connecting some or all points to form a convex polygon. So this is the third condition, right? So the first condition was uh, you have to use line segments 
and then the second condition was the point can be on the line or it can be inside the figure right and uh, none of the points uh, should be outside of the figure right whatever is the enclosed structure you are making and then if i add a third constraint that the polygon have to be a convex polygon not a concave polygon then how will you how will you actually solve the problem so in this case if you have to make a convex polygon then let's try to make it visually so i will draw a figure like this so let's say this is point a and i am drawing a line segment from point a to point b but if this is point c i cannot draw a line segment to point c because if i have to again connect point d so that it doesn't go outside of the figure then this will create a reflex angle here right so i cannot do that like if you make it like this this will be a reflex angle so we cannot do this instead we will take a direct line segment from b to d so c will fall inside and uh, we can make this kind of a structure if you can see and uh, it will actually not make any reflex angles so this is the visual way in which you can actually enclose a set of points using a convex polygon and uh, all these three conditions will be followed such kind of enclosed convex polygon is known as a convex hull which actually is drawn by following all these three conditions so i think you got an idea about what is a convex hull if you still have confusion let's take an example and try to understand what is a convex hull so let's say that there are multiple nails which are given and we are seeing it from the top so we are taking the top view of the vertical nails if you imagine it then they will look all like points right so if these are assumed to be the nails then what will happen is if we have the top view of the nail and if you enclose it using a rubber band so let's say this is a rubber band right so i am enclosing all the nails with the rubber band when you leave the rubber band it will try to close up because the rubber is elastic right so it will try to close up from all the ends and once uh, you leave it then you imagine about what will be the uh, structure which it will form like what all are the nails which it will be touching what all nails will be on the peripheral side you will see that this will be the structure if you imagine it this will be the structure right so this will exactly form a convex polygon and hence this structure is known as the convex hull because this structure will be a convex polygon first of all the second condition where you have to use line segments to connect points that is also used in the third condition every point lies either on the line segment or inside the enclosed figure nobody lies outside of this figure and that condition will always be true because we will always uh, take our rubber band outside of all the points and then we will encircle it right so this is our convex hull structure so you can pause the video you can rewatch it and you will definitely understand what is the convex hull so this is something we want to find now for a formal definition a convex hull of a set of points is defined as the smallest convex polygon that encloses all of the points in the set so it has to be the smallest one as well and this rubber band will actually make sure that it will be the smallest one so this was all the basics you needed to know before getting started for the convex hull problem in the next video we will see convex hull using the jarvis march algorithm if you want the slide of this lecture then please follow us on telegram all the slides will be shared there you can also follow us on instagram to get interview tips and latest trend of interviews thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video